Grammy Award-nominated ATL duo Chloe and Halle Bailey made a splash this year with their LP Ungodly Hour, which peaked at number 16. They also scooped a Rising Star Award at the Billboard Women in Music Awards. However, they remain an honorable mention for the year 2020. In the meantime, click subscribe to Black Social TV as we bring you the top 10 Rand B artists of 2020 right after these messages. At number 10. After publicly airing out grievances about her Kanye West produced KTSE, Deanna Taylor finally released her very long awaited full length debut LP The Album. The album peaked at number 8 on the Billboard 200 and topped the Randy Slash Hip Hop chart. She also scooped up a Best Director video at the 2020 BET Awards. At number 9. Three years removed from his Billboard 200 Top 50 LP drunk, Los Angeles bred Thundercat returned with his highly anticipated album It Is What It Is. Dedicated to the late Mac Miller, the album proved his most widely hailed, peaking at number 38 on the Billboard 200 and earning a Grammy nod in the Best Alternative Rand the Album category. At number 8, her head nods at virtually every award show this year, including four wins, MTV Video Music Awards, MTV Europe Music Awards and Soul Train for her single I Can't Breathe. She also took home Rand B Artist of the Year at the iHeart Radio Music Awards and Best Rand B Slash Soul Female Artist at the Soul Train Awards. At number 7. After two years of hype, 070 Shake's debut EP and a handful of high-profile guest spots, the New Jersey alt-hip-hop and ambient pop artist dropped her debut LP, Modus Vivendi, which peaked at number 10 on Billboard's Top Current Albums chart. At number 6. Nigerian singer Burna Boy had himself one heck of a year. Following the success of his 2019 Grammy Award-nominated fourth LP African Giant, he dropped his most successful album to date twice as tall, which earned him yet another Grammy nod, and peaked at number 54 on the Billboard 200. At number 5. Despite being criminally slept on in the nominations for the 63rd Grammy Awards, The Weeknd had himself one hell of a year. He only had a small handful of guest spots. Still, they were especially poignant, finding Billboard Hot 100 success with Colombian singer Maluma and Calvin Harris, Hawaii remix Ariana Grande, Off the Table, and the late Juice World, Smile. However, he saw the most success on his own accord with his fourth studio album, After Hours, which debuted on the top of the Billboard 200. It included the hits Heartless and the undeniable smash Blinding Lights, which peaked at number one on the Hot 100 and spent 51 weeks on the charts. It also earned him a grip of platinum plaques across the globe, almost going diamond in Canada with seven platinum certifications. At number four, Ty Dolla Sign may not have had the massive list of guest appearances we've seen in year past, but he put in a lot of work this year, and as usual, it's all paid off. He found himself on some incredibly high-profile LPs such as Ariana Grande's Positions, Safety Net, and Big Sean's Billboard 200 Topping Comeback, LP Detroit 2 Body Language. He also got a Grammy nod for his guest spot alongside Mahalia on Jacob Collier's All I Need. He also unleashed his third studio LP featuring Ty Dolla Sign, three years removed from his sophomore effort Beach House 3. Featuring names such as Nicki Minaj, Kid Cudi, Post Malone, and Kanye West, it debuted at number 4 on the Billboard 200-200, becoming Ty's first top 10 debut of his career. At number 3. Oakland singer Kehlani has had a great year. She kicked off 2020 with a feature on Justin Bieber's Get Me, the first single from his Billboard 200 chart-topping, platinum-selling LP changes. Her year was filled with notable guest spots on records such as Ty Dolla Sign's Universe, Megan The Stallion's Hit My Phone, Janae Aiko's BS Remix, and even her XYG's Valentine's Day single Conclusions. Still, the crown jewel was her sophomore studio album It Was Good Until It Wasn't, which she released in May. Aside from being noticeably drenched in more overt Rand B aesthetic, it became her highest charting release to date, debuting at number 2 on the Billboard 200. It was also her second number 1 on the Billboard Rand B chart. At number 2. Three years removed from Janae Aiko Trip LP, the singer made a splash in 2020 with features on albums such as Big Sean's Detroit 2 and Ty Dolla Sign's featuring Ty Dolla Sign. 
However, she climaxed with the release of her third studio LP, Chilombo, on the back of five singles, three of which went platinum, notably the most successful of the bunch BS with H.E.R. Chilombo became her highest charting album yet, peaking at number two on the Billboard 200 and topping the Ranby charts for the third time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, at number one, the drum rolls go for, the one and only, the talented, singer, songwriter, dancer and actor, Christopher Maurice Brown aka Sizzle aka Breezy. Following 2019 that brought us, among other things, the 45-song behemoth that was the platinum-selling indigo, Chris Brown stayed busy, as he habitually does, with a ton of big guest spots. He started 2020 on H.E.R. Slide Remix with the late Pop Smoke and Boogie Wit to Hoodie. Throughout the year, he popped up on albums such as Janae Iko's Grammy Award-nominated Chilombo alongside Snoop on Trying to Smoke Remix and Drake's Dark Lane demo tapes on the track Not You Too. However, his highlight remains his joint LP with Young Thug, Slime and B, which debuted at number 24 on the Billboard 200. Most notably, the single Go Crazy peaked at number 9 on the Hot 100 and earned Breezy two more platinum certifications for his wall. And 2020 was a wrap folks, click subscribe to Black Social TV and the bell for notifications, as you share this video. Thanks for watching.